The Orlando Immunology Center is conducting clinical research on PrEP, a daily pill that is very effective at preventing the spread of HIV. But tonight, not investigates whether the pill is giving some who take it a false sense of security and safety. Channel 9's Janine Reyes went to find out whether the drug is preventing HIV, but increasing the prevalence of other sexually transmitted infections. All it takes is one time, and, you know, you get caught up in the moment, and you kind of lose track of things. Eric Babcock takes a daily pill to prevent HIV. He's not sure if it's the FDA-approved Truvada or a new pill called Discovy because he's participating in a nationwide clinical study that aims to prevent the spread of HIV. He takes two pills a day. Both treat HIV. Only Truvada is approved as a method to prevent catching the disease. So far, doctors say it's a great option that is saving lives. It's very rare to see a patient that is very adherent to the uh, medication and get infected. Infected with HIV, that is. Dr. De Jesus says that with increased prevention of HIV, they are seeing the spread of other STIs. Syphilis right now is a big epidemic in Central Florida. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a price to, to pay. A lot of people that are like, oh, I'm taking PrEP, so I don't have to worry about safe sex. We went browsing on the dating app Grindr and found many users advertising they are HIV negative and on PrEP or Truvada. Truvada is actually more more effective than using a condom to prevent HIV. But doctors don't want patients to ditch the less effective condoms for the more effective pills. In fact, here at OIC, they keep condoms readily available for all their patients. But getting people to use them, just like getting them to take a pill daily, is not always possible. Babcock's friend taking these pills in the study missed some of the daily doses at a high cost. One of my friends who is in the study as well, that I referred over, he actually came back and tested positive. Fortunately, because he was in the study, he found out quickly and is now being treated for HIV. Every patient in the study Dr. De Jesus monitors has frequent STD tests, which is critical while on or off the pill. When you kind of weigh the risk and benefit, I'd rather treat a few more STDs and prevent an HIV infection than the opposite. Janine Reyes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Fear over riskier sexual behaviors for those on this highly effective pill have kept advertisements from hitting the airwaves, but we're told you will soon see ads for Trevita on TV. The newer version of the drug is not on the market for HIV prevention yet, but there are a couple hundred people testing it in the Central Florida community. We have more details on that clinical study. It's on our website, WFTV.com.